How to recover your Gmail account without the phone number or recovery email? You must go through this official Google account recovery page and avoid all the scammers. In our channel Learn to Make Honest Money Online, you typically learn different ways to make money online. For example, in my free guide, you will get 15 easy money apps to earn money without investment for free. And in my ultimate guide that you also get as a free gift, you will see apps for making big money i will leave you links for both in the description right here below the video but today we will focus on how you can recover your gmail account using this recovery page but first i want to give you a warning about scammers if you are searching to recover your account when you go to the comment section of most recovery videos you will find a lot of comments from scammers you can see right here they are trying to sell some services right here and they seem like bot comments usually if you contact them eventually they will start asking for money so never send any money for any of these people who are promising to recover your account they are typically just trying to scam you you should go to the official google website by typing on google google account recovery then you will click for this one how to recover your google account or gmail it will open for you this page that has lots of text and i will show you how to navigate if you scroll down and you click for this one can't sign in for another reason it says get help signing in if you click it it will give you different options for example forgot your password in your case you don't have phone number or recovery email so if you click some of these it eventually will lead you to the official account recovery page you can also find it here on the previous one uh, when you went from google recover your gmail and then here follow the steps to recover your google account or gmail as you click it it will open here this page so this is now the main page for recovering your account and now you have two options here it first asks forgot email or next let's say that you remember your email address and it was for example jameschnson at gmail.com and then you click here next now it says you can use a passkey to verify it's really you so that's of course a great way to recover but if you don't have a passkey you can click here try another way and next you will be able to enter the last password you remember using with this google account keep in mind that this doesn't need to be the latest password any old password that you used is positive for example you have had five different passwords over the time course and you remember one of them that is already a good thing so type it right here if you don't remember even that one you could click here try another way then it will ask for a phone number and it will show you the last two digits right here and you can type it right here but let's say you write it wrong it will say this number doesn't match the one you provided try again and if you still don't remember it you have to click here i don't have my phone and now it says you didn't provide enough info for google to be sure this account is really yours google asks for this info to keep your account secure then it basically tells you to try again so if i click here try again it will again go through the same process i can click here next then the easiest to recover is using the passkey but if you don't have it you can click try another way you can try some old password that you might have had if you click here next then you would need to provide the phone number and if you say i don't have my phone it comes back to this page where it prompts you to try again someone has said that if you go through this process enough times it would eventually show something like verify your identity and you might be able to move forward with that however i have never seen that page i cannot confirm if that exists but i have heard some rumors like that you might be asking why does google really need all this information for you to recover your account and as they say here it is to keep your account secure because if they would make it easy then anybody could just access your account or gmail without providing any 
relevant info and it wouldn't be very safe. And if you're on this page, it's helpful to click here more tips to recover your account. Here it gives you lots of tips and tricks that you can use and I will also share with you some of the best tricks that I know. The first thing you must do is to try other devices. So are you still log in in Gmail with another devices? For example, you have a second phone and you are logged in, you are able to recover your account right there. If you are logged in on a tablet, the same thing works again. Laptop or desktop computer, if you are logged in on Gmail, you can use those devices to recover your account. So that's the easiest way. Check all your devices, see if you are logged in on Gmail and recover there. Now if you are saying, I have logged out of all of my devices, phones, tablets, laptops, computers, everything. I have logged out everywhere. What is the next step? The second step is to check saved password on your devices and notes. For example, if you are using a password manager, check out if you have saved your password right there. Second, if you are using, for example, an Android phone or iPhone, you may have saved or auto-saved the password there. The device may have auto-saved it there, so you can check out on the auto-saving settings on your phone. The same might also work with some browsers like Google Chrome browser. It may have saved your password, so it's worth checking. And of course, if you have your own notes, like digital or physical notes, where you have written down your password, that's another way to recover it. If you say, no, my password is not saved anywhere, then you move to the third step, and that is try your common password styles. Let's go right here and try again. Let's put your email here and try another way. And here when it asks for last password, think about what kinds of styles do you use? Is there a specific way of using uh, letters or numbers? How do you do you use some special characters there? What is something typical you use? Try to remember what you have previously used and then write it down, try it again and again until you get it right. Now, if you are saying, no, I cannot remember any of the old passwords, you go for the another way. You say that, no, I cannot remember the phone number either. And you click, I don't have my phone. And you go through this process numerous times and you always try again and it never works. The fourth step is to learn from the experience. If you find absolutely no way to recover it, the key is to avoid it next time after you create a new account. You can simply go to Google and you can type create G Gmail account and you click here create the Gmail account and then you create the new account right here and now you do at least three things first you set up a recovery email and phone so next time you don't have the same problem that you might have now second you save your password securely for example in a password manager or something similar and third you stay locked in on at least one device because if you lose your phone then you have it on your tablet for example or your computer or laptop whatever Ever. So you can use that secondary device to recover your account always. And fourth, you want to test your recovery plan regularly. For example, once in six months or once a year, you go through the recovery process to make sure that it works again, just in case you would lose the account access. After you have created a new Gmail account or recovered the old one, you are ready to make money online. You can start, for example, with my free easy money apps guide where you will get 15 easy money apps to start making money online you can put your new or recovered email address right here click here submit and i will send this guide for free into your email or if you want to make big money online then you can get my ultimate guide again put your email address here click here sign up and i will send it to you for Free. Both money making guides can be found in the description right here below the video. Just to give you an example of one of my favorite websites, which is Bybit, here I earned more than $1,900 with this automated bot. If we take a look at some completed bots, with this one I earned $5,800, with another bot more than $1,200, and I also use other methods to earn money on this website. For example, here I earned tens of thousands of dollars with one trade and thousands of dollars with another trade. If you want to learn more in detail how to make money with this website, I have prepared for you a playlist, Earn Money on Bybit. Here I show all the possible ways how I make money on this website that you can use as well. Simply take one of your fingers right now, 
click right here in the corner and learn to earn money on Bybit starting right now.